Shadow Hearts takes place in a sort of alternate take on Earth's history, and sees the player travelling to various locations across the globe. The story introduces us to Yuri, a young man with a unique ability that allows him to fuse with demons through the use of ancient magic. This aspect plays a huge role in the experience and manages to really stand out, but what will stick with most players has to be the battling system, which is truly original in its execution. It all centres around a ring. Whenever the character performs an action in battle, may that be casting a spell or even using an item, the player must first overcome the judgement ring. Presented as a large circle with various areas of it being highlighted, you must hit each highlighted area in order to perform the action. If you miss, you forfeit the turn. This really adds an extra layer of tension to each encounter and goes a long way in making each, no matter how seemingly insignificant, all the more engaging. Tales of the Abyss sees players assuming the role of a young man known as Luke. After learning of a war that is looming on the horizon, he sets out to ultimately try to stop it. The story truly is something special. It goes a long way in fleshing out the vibrant world in which the events transpire, as well as the development of each character you meet along the way. But the star of the show is clearly the gameplay. Battles play out in real time and introduce several mechanics the player can utilise. As you would expect, several standard attacks, defensive manoeuvres and items can all be used Used, but the sheer amount of special abilities known as AD skills is where the battle system truly comes into its own. Each has the potential to align with a specific element that can deal out even more damage upon its execution and ties into something known as the FOF system that is a huge part of the game's narrative and the special abilities of the main character Luke. If you're looking for an engaging RPG on the PlayStation 2, look no further than Tales of the Abyss. Kingdom Hearts saw the worlds of Square and Disney combine to create something truly special. The player assumes the role of a young boy known as Sora, who is thrown into an adventure full of mystery and intrigue, intent on saving his friends Riku and Kairi, who have disappeared due to the actions of dark beings known as the Heartless. The journey is comprised of several worlds in which to visit, mainly designed around various Disney franchises that celebrate each film by showcasing characters and events many will be familiar with. But the real star of the show is the gameplay. Kingdom Hearts is an absolute joy to play, progression is handled very nicely and sees Sora and his companions gaining new equipment and abilities throughout the adventure. Battles play out in real time, with the player only having to really worry about their own actions, as the other party members are handed off to the AI, which does a surprisingly good job in supporting the player's decisions. Now I couldn't finish talking about Kingdom Hearts without mentioning its sweeping and epic soundtrack. It manages to complement the experience and elevate the events that transpire, so if you've been living under a rock and haven't got round to it yet, Kingdom Hearts will not disappoint. Till the End of Time is the third entry in the franchise and sees players assuming the role of Fayette, the son of a famous scientist as he is plunged into a seemingly small narrative that soon grows to encompass the entire galaxy. The story has to be one of the standout aspects of the adventure and is best to experience for yourself, so for that reason let's talk about the gameplay. The battle system is presented in real time and affords the player a whole range of abilities in which to utilise, mainly in the form of combos that can be assigned to a face button. Throughout the journey your find yourself learning more moves as you level up, which helps deal with the escalating difficulty of the various enemies you'll encounter. Visually, Star Ocean is a real looker on the PlayStation 2. Everything from the character models to each environment managed to help further immerse the player into the world. If you have yet to try Star Ocean till the end of time, it would make a worthy addition to any PS2 owner's collection. Essentially a prequel to the first game in the franchise, the fifth iteration centres around the political struggles of Felina, with the player assuming the role of the prince, with his main goal being to travel the world and form allies whilst dealing with the various issues that have arisen throughout the land. With over 60 playable characters to meet across the experience, there is a lot on offer, but the standout feature of Sukuden 5 has to be its battling system. Much like the previous iterations that have come before, there are several types of battles you'll encounter, the most common being that of a turn-based system that sees your party of up to six characters pitted against various types of enemies. Another being Duel that sees you and one enemy going head to head, and last but not least, massive battles that take on a sort of Fire Emblem aesthetic and see players commanding armies as a means in which to defeat enemies. The sheer amount of diversity within this gameplay offers up an experience that should not be missed.
In true Shin Megami Tensei fashion, Nocturne manages to convey a mature and at times quite dark story that is bound to captivate players right from the start. It involves a cult who are hell-bent on the rebirth of the world known as the Conception. But what makes it stand out though is that throughout the experience, you'll be asked several questions that can effectively alter the story, making it perfect for subsequent playthroughs. Gameplay-wise, you'll find yourself searching dungeons and overcoming a range of puzzles whilst engaging with the superb battling system. It's all turn-based in nature and sees the player being afforded a whole host of abilities and spells as well as several demons that will fight along your side. These demons can be forged and fused together to make more formidable allies, which soon becomes one of the best aspects of the game. If you're a fan of the series, this one is a no-brainer, and for those that have yet to try it out, it provides the perfect jumping on point for one of the finest RPG franchises ever conceived. Rogue Galaxy was released in the latter part of the PlayStation 2's life, just as many were making the transition to the next generation. For this reason, it may have passed by players, and missing out on Rogue Galaxy would be a huge mistake. You take up the role of Jaster, a young, idealistic man who stumbles into a galactic conflict and learns the fate of the entire galaxy is in the balance. The battling system is presented in real time and is where the experience truly begins to shine. As you would expect, a range of spells and abilities are at each of your party members' disposal, and Coupling this with the amount of weapons and equipment available, it offers many options in which to tackle each encounter and appear victorious. The main aspect that manages to stand out during the game has to be the various boss fights that appear throughout the adventure. There are some true highlights, which will completely test even the most proficient of RPG players. If you haven't got round to playing this one yet, it well and truly deserves your time. Final Fantasy X was the first entry in the mainline series to appear on the PlayStation 2. It casts the player as a young man by the name of Tidus and manages to convey a thoughtful and meaningful narrative that is bound to stick with you long after the credits have rolled. In true Final Fantasy fashion, you can expect to find yourself visiting various locations and meeting a whole host of characters throughout the course of the journey, as well as developing each of them into a formidable team of allies. Battles play out in a turn-based fashion and offer the player a generous amount of options during the each encounter. Spells, standard attacks and summons will soon all become second nature after some time with the game, and thanks to the well thought out and implemented sphere grid system which facilitates the growth of each character, there will always be something new to work towards. Although not as open ended as the many Final Fantasy games that came before, it presents a more linear adventure, but due to the incredible story, many players will feel compelled to push through to its conclusion. If number 10 passed you by, it can now be experienced on a whole range of different systems making it now easier than ever to jump into this timeless classic. Dragon Quest VIII is one of the finest entries in a series that has spanned decades. Players jump into the role of the hero and are tasked with lifting a curse set upon the people of his town. Throughout the journey, you'll encounter a cast of lovable characters and NPCs that help bring an extra weight to the world in which the events take place. Gameplay-wise is where Dragon Quest VIII truly excels. There's a real sense of exploration to the experience, which sees the player encountering a whole range of diverse locations across the journey. Battles play out in a standard turn-based fashion, with an array of both magical and standard attacks at your disposal. Complementing this is the sheer amount of equipment, armor, and weapons that all enhance various aspects of your party, which manages to give the player an extra edge during each encounter. Overall, Dragon Quest VIII provides one of the finest RPG experiences on the PlayStation 2, for both fans of the series and for those looking to get into something new. Persona 4 manages to present an experience that places a huge emphasis upon the relationships between several high school students that must deal with the mysterious events that unfold around them. Quite easily, the most enjoyable aspect of the game has to be its story, that introduces players to a diverse cast of characters and presents one of the more unique stories available on the PlayStation 2. A pretty robust and well thought out battling system is also in place that revolves around powerful entities known as Personas, but it doesn't stop there, as the actions you take with friends 
outside of battle also play a key role during encounters via social links that can affect your proficiency. These links play a huge role in the story as well as the player's progression and soon become one of the most engaging aspects of the experience. Visually, Persona 4 is stunning and manages to convey small town life in Japan in a surprisingly detailed way. If this one passed you by, it would make a welcome addition to anyone's collection. So if you're looking for a competent RPG to get stuck into and lose yourself in, Persona 4 offers up a great option.